Hey guys, it's Cheryl from Tinker's Card Art here. I just want to talk to you a little bit about brushes and brush care. We all have brushes that look like this, right? They have pigment, they have paint up in the ferrule, they start splaying, and they're great actually to save to use for stippling techniques and things. But if you want to try to revive a brush that does look like this, I'm going to give you some tips and show you how to do that. But first of all, a little bit about brush care. While you're painting, you really don't want to leave your brushes sitting in the paint like that for a long, in the water, excuse me, like that for a long time. That uh, is not gonna do your brush any favors. So what you wanna do as you're painting, especially with your little synthetic brushes like this, the paint sticks in here and, and freezes up pretty quickly. So as you're painting and you're done with your, the color you're putting on, do give it a good rinse in the brush, lie it flat on a paper towel to dry in between, especially your little liner brushes, your fine detail brushes. Those guys in no time, uh, if paint hardens and gets into the ferrule, it's really hard to bring those back to life. So try to take care of them as you're painting. Rinse them off as you go, lie them flat, don't leave them sitting in your water. You wanna pull that paint out of the ferrule um, and clean it well. So when you're done with your painting session, a, a brush cleaner, Masterson soap, ivory, a bar of ivory soap works well, the pink soap that you see. So I usually take a bar of ivory soap or the Masterson's, I put it in my hand under warm water when I'm done with my painting session and I rub the brush across the top of the bar of soap and you will be amazed at how much pigment comes out after you think you've cleaned your brush well. So when you're done with your session, give it a good clean and you know, I take the um, water and I squeeze it out and then I run it across my soap again or run the soap through it and that works as a sizing that puts your shape back, your brush back into shape. So you wanna put that brush, get it back into a nice point and a nice tip and then store your brush flat, let it dry well. You don't wanna put it back in your brush holder when in some water or it's damp because again, you're gonna get the water running into the ferrule and that is gonna destroy some of the brush hairs. So let me, pop on and show you, pop over to um, my stove and show you how I try to revive some of these. If you boil a little bit of wa water and dip the just the brush hairs in there, you don't wanna get the ferrule of the handle in the boiling water because you can loosen up the glue and whatnot. So that is what we're going to do next. But let me give you another quick tip. Um, alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, 97% um, is a great, uh, thing to have handy in your paint kit. I will use that to get um, paint out of my brush and, and revive brushes, really. If I've accidentally left paint in the brush and I've done it after a class or I'm online painting with you guys and I'm in a hurry and I go off, come back, the brush looked fine, but it was the paint is still on it. It's stiff as a board. I will take some isopropyl alcohol, put it in just the cover, the cover of the little alcohol container and stand it in there for a good while. I don't really want to get the alcohol again up on the um, the ferrule or the handle. It will sort of destroy that a little bit. But if you pour it in the little cap it comes in and you just stand it in there for a little bit, you'd be surprised you can sort of bring that brush back a little bit. Also good for moving paint where it shouldn't be. If I get paint somewhere on my canvas and it's dried and it's not budging a little bit of alcohol on my brush and I, I brush that on and it will take off paint. If I get it on a surface it shouldn't be on, I use a little alcohol on that as well. So let me go on and show you how we're going to try to bring these back to life. Okay, so we've got the little pot of boiling water. We've got the brush, the splayed brush. We're going to dip it in that boiling water. Again, we're not going to go up past the ferrule. We're just dipping the little brush hairs in there for a little bit. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to wipe it off on a paper towel. I'm going to reshape it a little bit. And you can see that it's not as splayed as it was. So you can revive these brushes a little bit with that hot water technique. What I would do now is rub some soap in there and keep that in shape as much as I can. If you find you have one that you cannot revive at all, remember they are good to have some of these old splayed brushes for techniques, for texture techniques and spattering and whatnot. And so we're gonna try the second one. This one was really pretty far gone. And let's see what it looks like. So I just reshape it. I'll add a little soap for sizing on there. And look at that. So be careful, of course, with your boiling water, but just put the brush bristles in there up to the ferrule for a few seconds. Wipe them off in a paper towel and then just reshape them and see how that works out. Maybe you can save some of your older brushes.